It's just a mess. I've asked him twice already to fold his laundry and put it away. He just won't do it. I'm waiting for my next load to finish. I don't know what everybody is stressing out about. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dan, I'm 25, I'm a blogger, a bartender, um, not a hoarder. I just did laundry and you guys barged in here before I had a chance to fold it. I'm Courtney, I'm 27 years old, and I'm Dan's girlfriend. Dan isn't so much of a hoarder as he is a big dumb slob. Whoa! Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Um, can you just wait in the hallway while I do mine? Now I'm being kicked out of my own apartment. Great. What did that just say? My name is uh, Dr. Elena Shoebox, and I'm a licensed psychologist specializing in making people feel bad about themselves. I'm Betty Sue Baker. I'm really good at folding clothes and putting things in boxes, especially for people who don't want me to. Dan, Courtney, can you tell me what's going on here? Yeah, I have Dan, please let Courtney speak. Dan always leaves um, a pile of clothes on the bed just right after he takes them out of the dryer and right before he folds them. What the f is happening right now? Okay, so right now I'm seeing several things in this room. Piles of laundry, trash not taken out, cat hair, I've seen worse than this, believe me, but not by much. <laughs> Man, why do you have to live like this? I, I don't, just give me five minutes to, to fold my laundry and everybody can calm down. <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of hostility from you, Dan. Courtney is just trying to dictate to you how she wants you to live your life. I know. Please, Dan. She's right. Whoa, what are you doing? We're helping you, Dan. Where did you learn how to fold a t-shirt? And these socks are completely mismatched. All right, everyone, let's just stop. Stop, everybody, just stop what you're doing. All right, now let's talk about our feelings. Yeah, okay, I want Dan, not you. Betty Sue? I'm feeling very threatened by Dan and his tendencies. He's a huge mess, you're right. Courtney? Dan smells sometimes. He's a huge, smelly mess, we're all agreed. We need you in there. We need your approval before we can get rid of anything. What are we getting rid of? It's nothing but clean clothes. Okay. Okay. Let's just take a breath. Look around. Swallow your pride. Are you really quoting Avenue Q to me right now? For now. Fuck. I really like that musical. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Well, why didn't you just fold the damn clothes if they bother you so much? Now Dan is starting to pass off the responsibility of his mess to Courtney. He thinks if it bothers her so much, she should just do it for him. Dan, Courtney can't do this for you. This is something you have to come to on your own.
See? They're all folded. Would you people go away now, please? You've made a lot of great progress here today, Dan. We're all proud of you. Courtney's proud of you. Not really. Well, not really. I'm super duper proud of you! Awesome. Dan made a lot of progress today. But he still has a long way to go. A long way to go! God damn it. I have something I'd like to say. Please, by all means, speak your mind. Again. Dan, please. Dan, I just love you so much and I, and I hate to see you like this. Okay, why are you crying? Because I just love you so much. Dan, may I put your clothes in your dresser for you? Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh. Oh what? What is it, Betty Sue? That's a dead cat. How long has that been there? Um. Kindness, people. They're really not that bad. Kindness. Cause the cat